Hey guys, welcome to Inferno Arts, and today I'll be teaching you how to turn any object in Blender into smoke. It's very simple, very easy, so sit down, shut up, and let's get started. First, make sure your object is selected. Go up to Object, Quick Effects, and Quick Smoke. This box appears, and this is called the Domain. The smoke only appears inside the domain, so no smoke can go outside. It'll stop at the edges. So, as of right now, you can just play your animation and that'll be it that can be it there you go done but for those of you who want to stick around I'll dive into it a little bit more not super into detail but a little bit okay so first things first um, you can go into the domain settings here um, which would be this uh, the physics tab and you can check uh, adaptive domain so what did what this does is it, the domain basically follows the simulation. Uh, it fill, follows the smoke, so it comes out a little bit smoother in the viewport. That that'll help just a little bit. Next thing you can do is go over to the uh, this the box that you or your object. Click that and see this uh, temperature diff little little thing right there. Um, it's set at one. That means the smoke will rise. If you change it to something lower than that, say negative one, you play your animation simulation. Let's say start start from the beginning. You play that and it drops. Okay, that's that's fun to mess with. And you do you do all that stuff and you think, hmm, that's a boring color. That's not very epic, right? You you see this box. Oh. Here's, here's the color, sm the smoke color. That makes sense. Here, let me just change it. Let me go to the beginning, and boom, you got red smoke. Cool, right? No, that's wrong. It's not cool. Red's not cool. So you can go into the rendered, rendered view here, and it shows that it's not red at all. So for that to actually show up red in your render, you go to the material box down here, and make sure that um, your smoke... Uh, your, your 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 domain here is selected and it says smoke domain material up here go down to volume color and change it to red or whatever color tickles your fancy all right so you, you, you choose that and boom now that's your color in the render that will be the final color you can of course make this into uh, changing color multicolor whatever you want so you can add keyframes and Go over here and you know pick a super cool green color or whatever and insert a keyframe and then it'll it'll change colors. But I'm not gonna show you that here because I'm sure it will crash my computer because I have the best computer in the world. Another thing you can do is you select your your object here and go into the physics tab um, and choose initial velocity. Um, that'll just help with some things not exactly sure don't sue me another thing you can do is come over to the uh, the domain box have that selected come over to the physics tab here and check high resolution now if I check this it'll probably kill my computer for the second time in an hour because I have the best computer in the world so you can check that and of course uh, as it as it states it will be high resolution it will be very high resolution smoke it won't be this weird blurry weird blurry blob that 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 is on my screen now so you can do that and boom bada bing you got some smoke any object into smoke really cool it's, yeah alright so please like please subscribe it took me forever to make this video yay Almost at 100 subscribers. Live life. Goodbye.